hello everyone it's me asmr for welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of photo editing process indoor portrait photography editing actually this one before one i got this image a couple of week ago and the output will be like that so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications for the file and open up here is my image and opening it up just press ctrl j for the copy of this background layer and after that select this layer go to the filter photo toolbox skin finer so you know that skin finer is a plugin of the photoshop and you can retouch or smooth the skin of your model photographs so this one and from here here is some panels which is brightness contrast shadow highlight lots of things and he's and this portion you will get the skin detailing which is like uh, how uh, smooth will be and uh, how rush will be so here brightness i'll increase a little bit and contrast a little bit and shadow as well the highlight and smoothing i'll make this smooth like this and let's see the before and after before one was like that and after one you're getting like that yeah that's good and i'll increase the highlight a little bit and shadow a little bit and the brightness a little bit and the fine of smooth will be like that and hit okay it will take time to give you the final output and load it up and then you can apply another things in this photo so it's done before one and after one and after that go to the filter camera raw filter camera filter plugins another plugins of the photoshop creative cloud version by default and if you want to use this camera filter in your other version like cs6 or cs earlier version you can use that and i'll give you that downloading in my video description please check it out here's small menu go to the load settings options and here i made the preset for you guys which is like light preset and xmp file and open it up yeah it will give the ultimate changes of this photograph so what is the settings of this error raw filter here the shadow plus 41 white that is 21 plus 21 actually blacks minus 9 and clarity 5 don't make it like uh, 10 or 20 it will spoil your photographs then here is nothing i used tone curve so after that here the split toning and then here is the sharpening or detailing options here's 28 and 1.0 detail 25 and luminance of noise reduction that is 26 luminance detail that is 50 this one is the hsl panel hue saturation and luminance hue here is the hue that is the blue hue minus 35 saturation plus 13 and luminance 13 and orange luminance 4 and 14 what is the luminance luminance is uh, uh, like uh, how light will be the color that means uh, how color will be blink or like that and saturation how deep will be the color and hue the color palette it will be like orange or red it will be blue or aqua this thing so after that split toning this one is important thing for these photographs i made here the value that is 102 if i change it out it will be changed so the value was 102 and then saturation 13 i made it like that and you can customize this one like uh, your own photographs how light you have used and how, what is the color tone your model photographs i don't know but uh, in this case i'm using this one like that and shadow that is the 254 if i change it out it will change so 254 for these photographs and saturation 12 so i want to tell one thing highlight and shadow for the split toning in this photo you are getting some highlight portion you are getting that color in the highlight portion and the shadow portion you are getting this color and the saturation that means the how deep will be the color it defines with these values and no lens correction issue issues over here and then dehaze i made it dehaze what is the haze and dehaze dehaze if i make it like that it will be like foggy type but the dehaze i will make it it will be clear 
and then here is the camera calibration three primary colors over here red green and blue so in this photographs you are getting three colors three primary colors will be work like that and that is the color correction the primary color red primary color i made it 18 green primary color made it plus 18 and blue 17 and the saturation that is 0 0 and 0 and hit the ok button so you got the ultimate result of these photographs so before one was like that and after one you get like this so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and until the next video i mean so i'm signing out today bye bye